what it is, what it do, and how the hell are all of you with yours truly, Petra, I fuck up back with another motherfucker and another mother lover, you already know the deal, we keep it real, you already know the deal, shit, two if you eat enough, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> oh man, it's been a wild one, it's been a roller coaster, it's been, it's been nuts, it's been crazy, I hope everyone out there is living, and I hope y'all are staying safe, and I hope, I just hope, you know what I'm saying? Hoping for the best, expecting the worst. Tish, yeah, shit. Just been a just been a hell of a one, you know what I'm saying? Just been a hell of a one. Uh like I said, man, I got a whole bunch of shit. I've been I've been really taking a lot of notes over the last few weeks. Not that I wasn't I wanted to drop shows, but I did not stop taking notes. I took notes on just about everything. So I'm definitely going to squeeze in a lot of things, a lot of a little bit of my opinions, you know what I'm saying? Going to go back to the article format here in a couple of days. We're just working it out, doing our thing. But right now, I just got a lot of notes and a lot of shit that I think is just nuts and been going on. Um, it's definitely some 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 shit, you know what I'm saying? Whew. And it's, it's like, where do you start when it gets... When the shit is this wild, you know what I'm saying? Uh, fucking, it's just shit ain't right, man. Shit ain't going. Shit in the world right now is nuts. That's 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 the one thing that I think we can all agree on. Is shit right now is nuts. Man, I don't know about y'all, but this joint life, man. I love me. I love me a doobie, bro. I mean, I like the artist, I like the rapper Doobie too, but I love me a Doobie, man. Zigzag white gold papers, you know what I'm saying, baby? Bay. Mm-hmm. Motherfucker just hit right, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, we moving and moving, we moving and groovy, you know what I'm saying? So, we gonna start, man. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna start, man. You know what I'm saying? We gonna start with... Trump in the motherfucking media, you know what I'm saying? I know everybody done seen it. If you haven't, you're probably sleeping under a rock, or you don't fuck with political shit, which makes more sense than sleeping under a rock, but I know some of you motherfuckers, instead of watching or trying to deal with political shit, you'd rather sleep under a rock. That, That's on you. <laughs> but... Trump lately, man, the media have been going after Trump at every press conference, every press briefing about the coronavirus, this, that, and the other. They're trying to get him with these gotcha questions, and he's turning around and getting them with the gotcha question right back. Uh, it's like Jim Acosta. Jim Acosta's still in there trying to play the gotcha shit, and Trump's like, okay, well, let's go again, Jim. Let's, let's see this one. You know, you can see that shit. And then they had the Chinese uh, um, journalist in there asking questions about Basically making a statement on how they're doing this, that, the other thing. And even Trump's like, that sounds like more of a statement than a question. Who do you work with? And she's like, I work for Phoenix News. And he's like, who owns that? Does China owns that? Does the state own that? And she's like, no, no, it's privately owned. No, no, bullshit. The highest stake in that company is China state. It's the state. It's the government. So that was, it's China, it's, it's a Chinese newspaper at the end of the day. So China still gets information on us. We just don't get it on them because China kicked out of our, kicked out of our fucking journalists and shit. And there's many of other stories that's all anecdotal, but there's plenty of other stories that I've heard and I've seen on YouTube and this other thing where there's people that if you're foreigners in China, they're kicking you out. They don't want you there. So, I guess, who knows, right? But the media really backed China on that, man. Really, really wanted China to be the fucking good guy because Trump kept saying it was the Wuhan flu, the China flu, the corona, the whatever, whatever, this, that, the other. And if you take that as a... a that's offensive or this, that, that, that's on you, man. That's not on the rest of the world. That's on you as a person if you take offense to that. Because it, the flu, that coronavirus did start in Wuhan. Wuhan is in China. And people say, well, the, we don't, we don't, we don't fucking name every disease after where it started. Maybe not every one of them, but there's a lot of them. We do. Yeah. And at least in, at least in context of where it starts, you have to say where it started. So even if we don't call it the Wuhan flu or the Kong flu or whatever you want to call it that makes somebody laugh, this, that, the other, just because we can all laugh in these dark times at something stupid. But I guess social justice warriors just can't do that. I guess, the, I guess it's beneath them to be civil in a time of pure and utter chaos because that's what social justice warriors love is pure and utter chaos. 
Uh, but Trump is going after the media, man, and it's something he's been saying a lot. He calls it the lamestream media. You know, he says they're lying, fake news, this other thing, but they are lying. If you actually see watch the pref- press briefings on Fox News, the whole thing, you'll actually see what he says. But if you watch CNN, you're going to get a clip, and you're going to get one of their opinions on why he said this, that, or the other. I mean, there's a fucking, I think it's MSNBC, I think his name is Chris something, but he's a fucking, he's an anchor, and he tried to make it sound like uh, Dr. Fauci and Dr. Burke came up with such a high number of deaths that the American people would hold to that number, and now that it's so little, it makes the, it, now that it's a lower number, it makes them just look really good. Like, how cynical and sadistic are you, man? How much hate do you have running through your veins to come up with such a fucking far-out-there theory? Now, I'm not saying that it's not something someone else thought of, but the fact that you would openly say that on TV and put that fucking seed in other people's brains, you're fucking stupid. It's That's just stupid to me, man. That, and you wonder why Trump goes after you, motherfuckers. And the reason... CNN and all of them, oh, we don't want, uh, we don't want Trump on, we don't want to air the press briefings, this, that, the other thing, so you got Anderson Cooper looking stupid, you got Rachel Maddow saying that she wouldn't, re- they, she wouldn't, uh, air it live on TV, like, you motherfuckers are really dumb. The reason you wouldn't do it is because Trump will fucking thrash you, like he's gonna do Biden in the fucking, uh, in the debates. If they have debates, if the DNC can't protect Biden, what I really think is, this is a little off topic, but what I really think is, I think they're going to talk about Biden, but I think Hillary's going to try to swoop back in there. That's what I really think. I think Hillary's going to try to take it now. That's what I think. Sanders is out, doesn't make her look like a piece of shit, makes Biden look like a piece of shit, makes the DNC look like a piece of shit. Maybe Hillary and her piece of shit ass piece of shit can come in there and make it look better. That's just my conspiracy from Pedra. But Trump and the media, man, that shit's been nuts. People have just been going for four years after Trump, this, that, the other thing. It's it's fucking, it's stupid. And the fact that it's the same old things you go after him for and you can't even name his policies. You just don't like the way he talks. Again, that's that's a more of a you issue than the rest of the world issue. Um, moving on, Sanders is out. Sanders dropped out. Uh, saying that there just was no clear path to victory. And... He's right. There hasn't been a clear path to victory for Sanders in months. Once Biden won South Carolina, the numbers for Sanders stopped. Not that he wasn't still doing okay. He was still out doing war and shit before they all dropped out. But Sanders was, wasn't was really fucking hanging in there against Biden once he got that fucking South Carolina win. And I don't know why people voted for Biden. Uh, Biden's a creepy piece of shit. And, uh... We'll, we'll get into his allegations in a little bit, but definitely, he's definitely a questionable fucking character. That's that's just something that he is. Um, Sanders, I don't believe, like I said in previous podcasts, I believe that it would have been socialism versus capitalism, and I don't believe Sanders could have won. I just don't. Why could, how could he be, how could he have won? Most of the United States doesn't want socialism. There's a small amount of people I think do, but I don't think they realize what socialism is. And me, I don't know what it is. I've never lived it, but most of the things that I've seen, it doesn't turn out good. Neither does communism. And the fact that people think that we can just take our economy that's already fucked as it is, stop it, and give this, this, and this, this, this to the working people, that's not... Because someone starts a business doesn't mean someone else should have to get stake in that business. I'm sorry, that's not what that means. If I start a company, it doesn't mean i got to give my fucking janitor stake in the business. You're just cleaning. That I'm sorry. No, man. That's not how that works. If you want stake in a company, go find a job that gives you stake in the company. Period. But Sanders, I just don't think he would have ever actually won. Um, Biden, I don't know how the DNC managed to fucking swing it the way they did in Biden's favor. Because Sanders did look like he was going to win that for like a week either, you know. Not not long, but we a week in the political world seems like a long time. In my eyes, at least. It's, I mean, it's not, but it seems to be a long time. But, uh, definitely the DNC, I think, fucked up with this choice, is my personal opinion. I think the DNC is going to regret this. Uh, Biden uh, talks about fighting his constituents, talks about, uh, go vote for the other Biden, go vote for Trump. He calls them names. He, what do you call that? What do you call that woman? Uh, dog faced pony soldier. He called another old man fat called another dude a jackass, uh, he's highly aggressive, he just wants to tap your chest when he gets fucking mad, 
Uh, I think the debates are going to be just a glorious thing because I don't think Trump's going to play that shit. I don't think a fight will happen, but I don't think Biden's going to be touching on Trump's chest. Believe you me, buddy. I mean, and then we're gonna, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna go a little bit around on this one. You know, we're gonna move on to the next one. I didn't really have. I mean, that's we're gonna get back into little Biden in a little bit, like right now. But, uh, shit, man, Alyssa Milano and her Me Too movement. She is under fire right now. Under fire. <laughs> they opening fire on her bitch ass, man. When she has that shit coming, she's two faced as fuck. She's a grifter. Rose McGowan clearly pointed that shit out, and I'm not all for the Me Too movement. I gotta see the evidence. I gots to see the facts. And the way Alyssa Milano went after Brett Kavanaugh like a dog with rabies, man. She just wanted the clout tokens. I'm not saying she's not working, but she wanted them clout motherfucking tokens, my man. That's just facts. That's what she wanted. Otherwise, why did she fucking drag homeboy through the mud when there really was no facts, when there was no proof, man? Christine Blasey Ford's whole fucking case blew up in her face, man. She was lying from 21 jump. Facts. That's my opinion. That's facts. She was lying. She was caught in those lies. None of her witnesses remembered shit, this, that, the other. She just lied on some man's name. Well, Alyssa Milano right now is talking about men deserve due process. Do we, bitch? Because fucking two years ago, we didn't deserve shit, man. If it was a ma- if a woman said something, we deserved to be burned at the motherfucking stake, even if the shit wasn't true. And men have been preaching for years, in fucking years, in fucking years, that women that lie about being raped and lie about being sexually assaulted, because they lie. They lie just as fucking much as men do about dumb shit when they know they're going to get in trouble or do something they don't want to do. But I remember being in fucking middle school and hearing about fucking guys that slept with a girl and the girl didn't like it, so then she said he raped her. Might not be true, but that's the shit that, and that those are things that we heard, man. And the fact that all that all a woman has to do is say what happened, and that's that's proof enough, That's I'm sorry, that's not proof enough, man. And Alyssa Milano fucked up. And you might not like what I'm saying, it might piss you off, but Alyssa Milano fucked up. How did she fuck up, Petrov? How did she fuck up, man? How? Well, how did she... She grifted, motherfucker. She grifted across the aisle like no one would fucking see her. She's talking about Joe Biden. Creepy motherfucking Joe Biden gets due process. Not that he doesn't. I'm not saying that the allegation is right. Tara Tara Reid's allegation is 30 years old. It is an allegation. The statute of limitations is up. She's sitting talking about she just wants to be heard in a dignified manner and she believes that's justice. How is that justice? You should have went after him 30 years ago when he was in the Senate. Everyone would have heard you then too. That was a motherfucking senator. That would have been over every newspaper across America. I guarantee it. But that's... To, now you want to be here 30 years later after he fucking is running against fucking Sanders and and after he got after he, Sanders dropped out now but you supported Sanders and now you got beef with Biden I'm not saying that she's that it didn't happen but if it did happen you should have told the police 30 years ago you should have got him caught up 30 years ago because how is that shit fair now I'm not saying what he did was fair but how do you get to wait 30 years you know his name, Joe Biden. You worked for him. There's got to be some proof of that. This, that, that. So you could have proven that 30 years ago. But no, man, no, no. You got to get Melissa Milano on your side, talking about due process. She's getting drugged through the motherfucking coals like she has it coming. She's definitely a motherfucking grifter, man. Playing whatever card she can play for whatever clout token she can cash in at that time. That's my personal opinion. I'm not saying she's not acting. I've never said she was a B-list actor. Actors. I'm just saying. She is chasing something for some motherfucking narrative. Whether it's to sell a book or have someone hate on Trump some more. That's what she's fucking doing. That that's that's what I that that's that's truthfully what she's doing. You can go on Twitter and see these motherfuckers drag her left, right, and center. Feminists are doing it, the Me Too movement's doing it. She's out. They're done with her ass. You done, you done fucked up. Period. Uh AOC, man. Moving on to another one, AOC doesn't change.